Hello friends, today I am going to uh, start Chef server installation. It's nice to see all of you after a long break. So, um, yeah, here I have selected uh, uh, Chef server installation as this tutorial series, as I said before. And now I have selected two CentOS server and one Ubuntu 14.04 server. I'll just tell you why these both are required and uh, Gently Chef Architecture, let's see in a brief in a moment. So then after that it will be useful to open it further. First, let's see so Chef Architecture. If you um, see this diagram, here um, server can be CentOS or RHEL or Debian. And the same way here workstation. This is a workstation. Workstation also can be sent to as RHL, Debian or Windows also. No, it can be anything um, with sent to as RHL, Debian and Windows and etc. So, uh, Chef Outscode is uh, uh, providing a Chef plan for uh, the major uh, majority of the operating systems and uh, red web devices operating systems. So you, whatever this upscore ship client supports the platforms that we can use as a ship client that means a node so the machine which runs the ship client uh, will be called as it will be named as a ship uh, node so all the node will be communicated with ship server and get the latest changes in the cookbook and update it to the system to get the desired state so, so um, I have said one more thing like workstation. What is a workstation? Workstation will be used to develop a recipe and cookbook and same will be uploaded to the, the ship server. And the node will directly communicate the server and get the cookbooks and update the same um, desired state in the nodes. So now um, I am just starting with the ship server installation. I have created uh, three VM VM copies actually. Uh, this is my VMs folder. I have ship server demo and uh, ship workstation demo VM and Ubuntu 14.04 demo. This is for a ship node purpose. So let me open those VMs here. First, let me open Chef Server Demo. Okay, let me power on that. In the same time, I will power on the one more thing also. I have just copied it. I will open one more uh, VM also. Both are same CentOS VMs. VMs. Chef Workstation Demo. Yeah, I am opening both. So I have given a higher configuration for ship server and lower configuration for uh, ship workstation because obviously my game will be very much slow and not be able to install also. So this workstation, let it load up. So in the meantime, we will just look into the ship official website and I will show you how to download the artifacts to in the install on these servers. Let me open that ship.io. This is the official website for the ship configuration management tool. Yeah, here. From. Yeah. From get ship you can use um, hosted development or uh, hosted ship server it will be hosted in internet you can directly log into the management console or the hosted server and proceed further I'm putting chef development kit hit this kit has to be installed in workstation to, to communicate with the server as well as node the below one is run your own ship server so you can download the ship server installation file and install the same in our own infrastructure 
whether it could be Amazon Web Service, whether it could be Azure Cloud Service, or it could be our own data center, uh, or physical VM, or uh, something, um, something on-premise servers. So um, I have taken this uh, own ship server. I'll show you the artifact which I already downloaded, so I don't want to waste time by showing download. So here, um, if you go to ship artifacts, so, but here I have downloaded ship server core.rpm, so obviously it's a RHL package and ship dk also rpm so this package i'm going to install in the workstation this ship is a debian packet this i'm going to use in a ubuntu 14.04 vm so let me uh, open this first let me enter my password First, let me open one by one. Because I'm not sure which one is. I just want like a VM copy. I don't know which machine will be leaving us. Okay. I'll just go to the settings. I'll just check the options. The ship server demo. So I'll name this as the CentOS ship server. Demo. I rename the share folder to access the files and save my so copy the dollar we need to suffer in that feature. This is not a time to all shoot the sharing. Okay. I have configured a NAT network, so no problem. Okay. Now I will just open the terminal. Let me check my host name and everything first. The host name has been configured as ship server. Okay, let it be. Can okay. host name ship server. Let me check the host file also. Host. Okay, I'll go. So what I'll do? I'll just um um, get the IP address here the IP address is um, first server is uh, 14.10 cool ok let's put a first entry for the same so finally each machine should be communicated should communicate with each other. So that's why I am putting host entry. Sorry, let me check this. Uh, I got the IP address. One forty two dot ten. Ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one forty two dot ten. There is ship server dot r dot n. The same way I just put a ship server name also ship server. So you be able to ping. A ship hyphen server, the allies is ship hyphen server dot or dot it. Fine. Let me say this. I'm sorry, I could have opened this in the root case of permission. Yes, you root. This is the first. 
I just paste. I loved it. Fine. Now I should be able to communicate with the other machine, right? So what I'll do? I'll just put this machine in a suspend mode. Check server demo. Otherwise, I'll just minimize this. I'll start the remaining another demo. Okay. Now I'll open this WL demo. Change the name in the settings, otherwise, it will get confused. Because I have uh, two more VMs in the same name. Because this um, shaft folder we get enabled once you restart the VM. Mesh. Just a shift WS demo. Fun. It's okay. Okay, fine. We have to check the host name here. I will have to change it. Once we take this communication, we can start some popping the files and start executing. Okay, we have we got the console terminal, and here the host name also ship server. So we have to change it. Okay, let us see host name should be workstation workstation. Okay, fine. So in the same way I have to change the host also. In host I have to put a 92 dot one sixty eight dot forty two dot ten as chef server chef server dot 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 in you should know what is this side p i don't know the one no problem i have config what is this ip we just want to know this is also one particular thing. So first let's change the IP. Let's make this is a 20 192.168.142.20 let it be chef workstation chef work dot n okay now we should be able to ping chef server correct variable to thing you we'll just change the IP so these are the basic uh, prerequisites we should do so once we did this uh, the process is simple the thing is we should follow step by step that's it and work IP4 we have configured we change the address to 20 apply just switch off and on again that's it now we are able to communicate to the server in the same way server also should communicate the workstation let's check that also We are to see host sorry root we are to see host and just coming this putting this line here I am replacing twenty the same as Sorry, workstation. Q 
here workstation dot rf dot n. Cool. Now we'll ping check workstation. Yeah, that is also pingable. So let's check the SSL connectivity. So SSH triple V northern direct check workstation. You want to copy yes password. Yeah, we are able to take SSH from server to workstation. So in the same way, we will check in workstation to SSH triple A nothing a direct check server yes password yeah I am able to connect it so let's see OSIS PWD they are yeah here I have a ship server uh, I mean ship server installation files I already copied so no problem we can use it directly and uh, let me check ship server 2 there we are yeah because I have copied the VM with files also so everything should work fine so our VM is ready to start installing I will continue in the next video see you guys there